Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast, the podcast, the daily podcast about Joy Shelley's life in a dream. Joy is the girl who lives in dreams. And season one covers ages two to six. We are learning what is it like to live in a dream? What is it like to grow up in a dream? What is a future heroine like when she's just a kid? And Joy, as we saw last time, as we saw many, many times, Joy lives in uh, with her father, who is a dreamer. So he's only there when he falls asleep. And when he's awake, he's not there. She's there when she sleeps and when she's awake. And they live on a flying pirate ship called Bunny's Revenge. Uh, super fast, super powerful, amazing ship with an infinite prison in the bottom, which we, we won't get into today, but for now. And they have adventures every day, and that's the life she lives. And usually when I... This is one of the dilemmas of reading something to you, as opposed to uh, uh, you just going to the website and reading the episodes. Um, usually I say, you know, so she looked up at the suns. And you don't always notice that I say suns plural, and not one sun. She looked up at the sun sometimes. Uh, so I, I, I try very hard to, to say sons and make sure you heard that I said sons when I talk about the sons. Uh, and I also try not to make too big a thing out of it because, uh, he has, uh, two sons in his dreams and that's the way it is. He has a planet, planets and, uh, um, and so on and so on. So, um, this time we get to talk about the suns, so I get to say suns, 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 and you, this time you'll hear me. Anyway, this is Joy's childhood. So let's begin and let's continue. Episode 159 Against the Suns. Joy's age five, told by the Red Dragon. You look like my shadow, Dragon Lil told her father. Huh? He turned around. This was at a time when Drangolil was only five years old. Dragonfather allowed her to pilot Bunny's revenge to the pirate ship and try different tricks. Following a particularly hairy fast run, Drangolil had looked behind to see that Dragonfather was okay. He was exactly between her and the sons. They were closer to the two sons than usual, which alarmed me just a bit, but they did not get too close. You look like my shadow! Dragonfather, his back to the sons, looked at himself. He no doubt looked normal from his point of view, but then he turned around and looked at his hand. Oh, it does look like a shadow. He turned around quickly. Joy, that's called a silhouette. Now watch. He faced the suns and began to flap his wings. I'm a bird. Look at me fly. His silhouette flapped and flew using his entire body. Dragonly laughed. Now look at this. His profile was now to the side and he bent his back and curled his fingers. Nee ha ha ha. I'm a wicked witch. Now me, now me. Okay, it only works if I'm here and you're between me and the sun. I mean the suns. Let's switch places. Look at me. She did her best to mimic her father. I'm a bird. Flap your wings more. There you go. Beautiful. Look at me. I'm, I'm a witch. Oh my God. Joy the witch is here. What do we do? Okay, now I'm, now it's your turn. They switch places. What am I, Joy? He walked around awkwardly, leaning more on one leg and keeping the other completely straight. Captain Badass! Yes! Do something else! And so the day went, spent in complete and utter fun. I could not see the silhouettes from my vantage point, but I enjoyed their happiness so much. It made me miss the innocent childhood I never had. I was so happy for joy, my little perfect dragon little. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy, Justin, The Sun's Shadow. And so, just another day for a little five-year-old girl flying, helming a flying ship near the suns and, you know, checking out the silhouettes and doing and having fun. Just another day in Joy's life. 
However, join us tomorrow for episode 160 called Too Close to the Suns. And now, the credits. The Squashbuckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squashbuckler Diaries more. The Squashbuckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com, that's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website, because The Girl in the Dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Thank <laughs> you.